What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got transformed by the one and only Miss Fame. Hi. Thank you so much for having <laughs> me today. I'm so excited to be able to paint you again. I can't and believe film it. it. He painted me last year and it was one of my most viewed pictures ever on Facebook when I posted it. So I'm like, okay, you gotta come back. You're about to see him do a full transformation from start to finish. So saddle up, grab some Starburst and a Red Bull and get ready. I can't wait. I'm priming your eyelid using my go-to product for the lid for a shadow, which is Paint Pot Painterly. I'm gonna mix a lip liner by MAC. It's magenta and I'm a uh, Makeup Forever product. I don't know the color of this. 11L. I don't know if it's eye or lip, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, it's makeup, Dude, girl. it's fine. And I do this because I like to map out what I'm creating and I, I learned this from like the classic painters of our time. So you could just see it's a little bit of structure. It, it doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna blend it. Now the reason I put this product on first is because it's this won't dry, this will blend, it can move around. This, on the other hand, anytime you see a pencil that has black wood, usually that means that it's a long wear product and it's gonna dry on the skin immediately so it doesn't have blendability. It goes on and it starts to lock in immediately. Lay this down and then blend it as soon as I can so I don't get that tacky dry effect on a long wear liner. And I, I find it important to even blend that first step, like you really want to make things look good as you go along, because the better you take care of that makeup as you progress through it, the final product is just gonna like look phenomenal. Okay, so we're just gonna take the product off the back of my hand on a loaded brush and then smudge through. So we got these eyes blended ever so stunningly. And once you overlay this over the top of the color that's already existing, it's gonna just Complement. They're gonna be very pretty together. And if anything falls out, because I am using glitter and I'm using a lot of color, we're going to take a makeup wipe and clean right underneath the eye and keep it very simple. That's all. It doesn't have to be it's a big ordeal. Yeah, people freak out. They're like, oh my god. I'm using Sketch Eyeshadow. You can buy this. It, it still exists. It has not been discontinued. And a smaller shading brush by the same company. Basically, we'll primarily use the brush, the Cosetti brushes today, because I'm familiar with them and I've gone, gone very comfortable with them. I'm just putting a little bit of black to anchor down the outer corner of the eye, but this black isn't just an ordinary black. It has a little bit of blue in it, so it fills with the cooler story, and I'm getting this fantasy behind me, so intentionally that's helping me create a color story for you. Now, you're about to start your journey of teaching makeup classes. I am. I'm gonna be all over the US. I'm tempted to go to Brazil. I haven't set that one yet, but <gasps> Brazilians love makeup and they love queens. I'm coming with. This is pure white right here. This is like a 100% full coverage foundation powder. Mm -hmm. Now, I never get to play with this because I don't even have this in my kit. So I'm gonna blend that, but the fact that it's... It can get that. Like, I didn't have in. to do anything. I'm not even trying. I don't have to reach back for more product as I reach right. back for more product. So, I'm mixing, this is, um, is it helium? It's helium, yeah, helium MAC pigment. It's this beautiful pink, it's so good. And I mix it with the clear liquid glitter base. I've never tried it. Lit Cosmetics, I'm trying it out. Yeah, unreal. Okay, so we need to create a little impact reading on camera. This is also really good to redefine your, um, your socket line when you really want that precision lid. That, that's more ideal for somebody that's recreating an eyelid that doesn't have a giant eyelid. A little product, I'm just gonna press over the top with more pigment. I'm just trying to get as much on there as possible. Ooh, yes. Mm. Your eyelid's gonna be my oh, good it's like finger. diamonds. Chin up slightly. I'm just going to press looking down a little bit further, right on the center of the eye. Ah. Uh, so a little quick and dirty pro tip when you're doing a smoky eye and you have fallout, use a makeup wipe of your liking. I'm using the MAC wipes right now. And I'm just going to fold it in half, create a nice strong line. I'm just gonna go along that extended shadow that I'm creating to get a really nice precise shape. Um, okay, so basically I put a little bit of Telesis, which is um, a prosthetic glue on the skin. I wiped with alcohol first and then I put the tapes with Telesis on the backing so that they have more long wear. And then I take a little alcohol and I wipe around the edges so that you don't get any patchy glue through the foundation. So those are on. I'm just gonna use a theater primer. This is Cinema cool. Secrets. Love it's silicone, mm -hmm. silicone based. Your skin really is fantastic, so you make makeup look, you make makeup look good. And for people that struggle with maybe um, 
dare I say, pore size or texture, using a silicone based primer is just going to create a little bit more of a barrier and smooth those areas out so that you can go in with a heavier foundation. Now we're gonna try the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Uh, it's got, I, it's like a, to me, it's a medium to, to pull. pull. Yeah. So we're gonna go here, throw some paint on it. Come through paint. Come through paint. So pretty. This is just a really natural look. Yeah, really soft. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a beauty blender, a brand new beauty blender. Ha! Never <laughs> been touched before. Never been worn. <laughs> And we're just gonna tap, or stipple, whatever you wanna call it, whatever makes you feel happy inside. So I, I flatten it and I get close to that edge and we're good. <laughs> and we're blending. <laughs> this is the subtle beat. We're, we're working in our beading process. I'm mixing these two products, Kevin Aquan SX01, Sensual Skin Enhancer, Heavy Duty Cream Concealer. Heavy. And then I'm following through by adding a little bit of this TV paint stick and I'm using a spatula. I'm gonna scrape that product like so. Just a little bit. A little bit. And I'm mixing it on the back of my hand, and I'm going to use my little ring finger, and I'm gonna bounce underneath the eye. I create a bit more of a triangle. I'll, I'll go right toward where we get a smile line, where Jeffrey does not have a smile line. I haven't smiled in years. Yes. So I'm just swiping the color down the center of the bridge. Your labial folds. <laughs> so basically, I'm creating like central. <laughs> and we're back to blending, people. All right, blend. I fold it, I squeeze it like so, and then I go to the bridge. Because if you keep it very wide, it's going to blow out that highlight and you're losing product. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, contour, we're gonna stipple. This is TV paint stick, I'm using a lot of Krylon. This is all drag makeup today, like heavy duty, bulletproof, going in hard. And we're gonna just lightly apply. We're gonna carry from the top of the ear and your natural bone structure, when the brush lifts off, is when I flick it out, it lifts out from like the center of your eye. And that's where the contour wants to lay on your face, for me. Like, that's how I contour. One of my favorite tricks to minimize the size of a chin is to do a little bit of um, a diamond shape. That little V right there is going to just create this tiny little pinched canvas. And then the nose. You have a very narrow nose. So I only I do this because I do it on myself and I want people to see the trickery. So I do the sides of the nostrils because when I blend that out, it makes it super pinched. So if you have a wide bridge, that's the best way to get the narrowed and also, what is this called with the width of a nose? Basically, if your nose is a bit wide at the nostril area, this is gonna get a nice pinched finish. And now we're just blending. So I'm setting the face. First, your highlights with a custom blend of NARS Loose Powder and Snow mixed with Super White by Ben Nye. So basically, I'll take like this another Cosetti brush. I love the shape of this brush, and I'm using it under the eyes and just on all the highlighted spots. All right, I'm gonna take that product on a powder puff, and I'm just going to beat the mug. This is just kind of establishing longevity in this face because those creamy foundations actually move around on the face if they're not set properly. And then you end up getting like a hot spot that shines or um, creasing. So I'm just um, cutting those cheekbones. We're baking. So now we're gonna be using the Benai Buff Powder. This is what I'm gonna use to set your contour. And I use uh, a big stippling brush and I'm just going to tap that right to the foundation to lock everything down. Yeah, we're using the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. Thank you. Which looks like this. It's like, it is, it's really I am pretty fantastic. Fair. So I'm just gonna dust this right along the hairline. I'm just going in and I'm cutting the cheekbone further. So I'm gonna take uh, a medium to small eye shading brush using the Kevin Aquan lightly, like very light handedly. Because when you get a little heavy handed or if the shading is, if this is too dark, it'll get really hard to work out after the fact. You're like, okay, my nose is like two handlebars in prison. Right. And then we're going to just dust the tip of the nose and almost like what I did with the chin. That kind of triangle, I'm doing that right here. The sides of the nose. And I do the sides of the nostril too. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller brush to create a little bit more definition. What's happening? I'm giggling. You're giggling? And I'm sober, I don't know how I'm giggling this much. <laughs> We're, We're mixing two shades. The Max Shivering White. Yeah, you got, this is discontinued, so good luck. 
You could use a white eyeshadow if you really want to get creative. Um, and this one is number 113 by Makeup Forever. It's a powder foundation. It's fantastic. So I'm mixing them evenly, going underneath the eye, and you're just gonna go and reiterate the highlights of the face. You really wanna just make it bulletproof. Just gonna go down the sides of the nose and create more definition. When you contour, keep your contours high and tight, like a good military fade or an ass in mm -hmm. Hell's Kitchen. Amen, sister. Thank <laughs> you. And also, put a little bit of the white where the nostrils are, and that's gonna give like a little light that looks like your nose is literally the size of a small mouse. Hi, hand. What brand is that? El Maquillage. El Maquillage is the, do you know El Maquillage? Yeah. I'm mixing the shadow we used on your lid with a little pinky blush from El Maquillage. So we're gonna just try and do a really seamless, do you wear blush? Yeah. I do it lightly under my contour sometimes. Under my eyes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna blend it out a little bit because it's, Blush is one of those things. It can get really heavy handed real quick and you're like, whoa, 80s. All right, let's highlight. As a makeup artist, I love new things. So tell me about this product. This is my highlighters that are coming out <gasps> in a few months. They're called Skin Frost. You are going in. I think you had mentioned you could wear it, um, put it on the eye by a wet application as well. Is this true? It is, you wet the brush. Oh my God. He's mixing a lavender shade with Princess Cut, the pink metallic yes. one that I used in my neon tutorial a while back. It's catching the it light, glows. throwing it back it's at me. Shimmer that cheek. The formula is very buttery. It's like, yeah, it has bounce to it. Oh, girl, you packed on that highlight. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, I've never used a product before, so let's it's dust her out a little bit. <laughs> Is it brow time? It's brow time. This always helps because people are like, oh my god, I get it now. Right. You know? I'm using Oak Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just going to, and I like it because it creates this fleshy toned like brow or uh, blonde brow. I like to gradiate the shading of it out. So I'll leave it a little bit brighter on the inner corner so it doesn't create a Harsh line since I'm all about blending all these little things really, really seamlessly. Now I'm going to set them using, you can use any neutral beige shadow that's light. And this is just gonna set and hold everything in place. Okay, I'm gonna use a little concealer. A cream I was concealer. wondering what that was. To get this card out appropriately. Use this Anastasia brow pencil. Brow. Pencil and brow brush. Brow brush. Okay, so a little pro tip, as you know, put white powder underneath your eyes if you're concerned of fallout. I just experienced it and I do not wanna mess with this makeup, it needs to be beautiful. I'm just gonna work that shadow right underneath the lash line and connect it to the storyline that's happening above. And I'm gonna use a smaller shading brush again with a little bit more of a deeper shade of violet right underneath the lashes. And then another smaller brush. This is pretty flat, so I can create a bit of a line with it. I'm gonna take Makeup Forever Aqua Liner in number 11, which I use quite often. It's one of my favorite colors. I'm going to define the red. That's the tattoo liner in Trooper. There we go. Taking it. And right underneath, I'm just drawing in a very fine black line. Okay, we put some mascara on this lash, and I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of your eyes. I usually use a pigment, but this time I'm gonna use glitter glue, and this happens to be Heavy Metal by Urban Urban Decay. Decay. <laughs> Midnight Cowboy. Mm. We got any more Midnight Cowboy! I'm putting a beauty mark on your face. What a coincidence, I have an album called Beauty Marked, available on iTunes. <laughs> Ding! I like doing this little trick because, you know, an iconic beauty always has to leave her mark. Cute! It just means like it's the mark of fame. So we're gonna do the lips. We're gonna just mix these two products as a base because I want more gradation in color. Mm -hmm. 
guess what we're doing? I'm using liquid lipsticks on camera for the first time. Are you really? I am. I, yeah. I'm a classic like lipstick, liner, and gloss girl. Okay. But for this, I really wanted to play with your product, so. Ready? He chose Blow Pony and I'm Nude, which is an amazing combo. Let's do it. Let's see how it looks. I'm really concentrating this color on the outskirts of the lip. It's so full coverage. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna try to keep everything in the center bright. Looks like oh, one. wow. I'm gonna use some black eyelash glue duo. These are from Alcone, alcone.com. Um, 300 and 300T. I use them on Miss Fame every time, and sometimes I add a bigger lash if I wanna go more dramatic. Make sure that there's a bend, so fold it a little bit so that they don't get wonky. And I always lift the outer corner of the lash because I want it to create more elevation, so I'm not trying to go with the natural shape of the eye. Uh, for the final product, it's really important that you keep lifting everything, that the liner and every application is about elevation. And I go back and forth. I'll do the left, the right, the left, the right, or vice versa. And then you just kind of work by pinching and pushing and making sure they're anchored down and elevated. And I'm just going with um, Fascinating. You use this. Yeah, that's my go-to. I'm going to spray you with okay. some Severe Up In Here Marble, which is what you use to go underwater and make your makeup not come off. It's Green straight up marble, a tough film forming barrier to seal theatrical makeup. So you can hold tight. Wow, you guys, I've never heard of this. So I'll be buying 20 of these once he leaves my house. Yes. Thank you. Same, what are we doing? I'm just grabbing the shortest one with one of the other end adapters. And I'm going to pull as much as your face will allow me to. Oh, hi. They're like, yes, facelift. I did it for my grandma. Yes, go right. on. All right, guys, this is the final finished Miss Fame creation. It took a minute, but we got there. Isn't it gorgeous? I can't breathe. I can't think. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm, de I'm dead. You are so good. I, I love looking at this face. It was a pleasure to paint you again. Thank you. I'm, I wish you'd do this more often. Uh, honestly? I can do this often. I'm uh, gonna do it. You wanna move in? Yeah, okay. there, there's a room available for me? Yes. Little old me? Yes. I love creating this color story. I've not worked with this specific family of color and look at it. It's like, it's cohesion. It's from the lid, it's yeah. down into the cheek, and it's brought into the, to the lip. Uh, I got to play with your products today. I did add a little bit of gloss because I'm a gloss girl for personally, but I'm not afraid of going matte now. Hey. Your lipsticks <laughs> are off the motherfucking hook. Thank you so much for painting oh, you're me. Um, I can't get over it. I'm gonna go stare at myself in the mirror. So replay this and replay this. Right. We Bye. love you guys. Bye.